dear students in this class we are going to discuss two important applications of transmission lines the transmission lines are mainly used for uh, impedance matching and impedance measurement the first application we are going to discuss is the quarter wave transformer the quarter wave transformer is used for impedance matching that is uh, we know that uh, a transmission line transfers maximum power to the load when the line is terminated in its characteristic impedance so the condition for impedance matching is that the load impedance must be equal to the characteristic impedance that is zl is equal to z not Z not is the characteristic impedance. A transmission line satisfying this condition is called a matched line. So, such a matched line, we have seen that the voltage reflection coefficient uh, should be equal to zero, and the voltage standing wave ratio is equal to one, and there is no reflection at the load end. That is. The reflected wave is absent. The line carries only forward traveling wave. Next is the quarter wave transformer. The length of the transmission line will be one fourth of the wave length or a quarter wave length. Let us consider a transmission line or lossless line of length lambda by four. Let me draw a transmission line here. transmission line having the load impedance is at l and characteristic impedance is at zero so in the case of a quarter wave transformer length of the transmission line is 1/4 of the wave length so let us try to write the input impedance is at in is equal to is at not into is at l plus j is at not tan beta l Whole by is it zero plus j is a del tan beta l. Now beta is the phase shift constant, so beta l can be written as beta is replaced by two pi by lambda, and the l is replaced by lambda by four, so you will get it is pi by two. So we can write the input impedance as E Z naught into E Z L plus J E Z naught tan pi by two divided by E Z zero plus J E Z L tan pi by two. Let us take that. Pi by tan pi by two in common, so is it zero into tan pi by two the whole by is it l by tan pi by two plus j is it not the whole by I'm taking this tan pi by two in common from the denominator also, so is it zero by uh, tan Pi by two plus j is it. Now that one by tan pi by two is zero. This will cancel, so we can write is it in is equal to is it not into that one by tan pi by two will become zero. So we can write is it not into J is it not by J is it L? That J will get cancelled, so we can write is it not square by sorry is it L? <clears throat> Or let me write is it in 
divided by z0 is equal to z0 by z Here that z in divided by z0 is normalized input impedance. We have seen that normalized values in uh, speed chart. Then that z in by z0 is the normalized input impedance. Thus we see that the normalized input impedance is uh, the reciprocal of normalized load impedance. This is not normalized impedance, uh, load impedance. Normalized load impedance is ZL by Z0. The reciprocal of normalized load impedance is there. So in the case of a quarter wave uh, transformer or if the length of the transmission line is 1 by 4 of wavelength, then we can see that the normalized input impedance is the reciprocal of normalized load impedance. This shows that the quarter wave line inverts the load impedance. It inverts the load impedance. So we, we will call it as impedance inverter. So for example, a capacitive reactance is inverted to inductive and vice versa. So a high resistance is converted to a low resistance at the input side. Now, what is the importance of that uh, quarter wave line? So a mismatched load EZL can be matched to a line where the characteristic impedance is Z0 by inserting a transmission line of wavelength lambda by 4 before the load. That is, if we insert a quarter wave line or the transmission line having the wavelength lambda by 4 in between the load and the transmission line, we can achieve that uh, impedance matching. So let me draw uh, that transmission line having the load, in, uh, sorry, the characteristic impedance is at naught. We have to match it with a load impedance. So here I am connecting, here I am connecting another transmission line having a length lambda by 4 and the load is connected here. ZL. So the input impedance here, the, uh, the input impedance given in the quarter wave line is Z in will be the characteristic impedance of that line Z0. So we can achieve that uh, impedance matching by connecting a quarter wave line in between uh, that load impedance and the transmission line. So we can write the characteristic impedance of the quarter wave transformer. From this expression, the characteristic impedance of a quarter wave transformer is given by Z in Z0 is equal to, sorry, Z in ZL is equal to Z0 square. So Z0 can be written as the root of Z in ZL. So characteristic impedance of a quarter wave line is given by Z0 is equal to root of Z in into ZL. So here, the characteristic impedance of that uh, quarter wave transmission line can be represented as Z0 prime. Z0 prime can be written as root of Z in, Z in here, Z in is given as the characteristic uh, impedance of the main line. So, Z0 into Z. So, we can calculate that characteristic impedance of the uh, quarter wave line. For example, uh, let me show an example. If uh, if we want to match a 120 ohm load, 120 ohm load with a 75 ohm line, then a quarter wave a transformer must have a characteristic impedance of root of Z0 
prime is equal to 120 into root of 120 into 75, which is approximately equal to 95 ohm. So a 95 ohm a quarter ohm transformer can uh, match this uh, 120 ohm load with the 75 ohm line. So that is the use of the quarter ohm transformer. And the next application is the single step matching. Here are uh, suitable sections of uh, short circuited lines called the steps are connected in parallel with the transmission line at selective portions to produce that impedance matching. That is, let me show that. Let me draw a transmission line here. Having a load impedance EZ EL. Here I am giving a short circuited session. See, I have given a short circuited session here at, at this point. That is known as step. If only one step is connected, it is known as single step match. Here that step is connected at a length L from the impedance. Now this uh, single step is uh, reactive in nature. It is reactive in nature. So it will not absorb power. And uh, this method of uh, impedance matching of a line is called that step matching. If a single step is used, it is called a single step matching. So here uh, the impedance the, uh, the impedance of that new element will be the same as the characteristic impedance of that transmission line that is uh, is it not is the is it not is the characteristic impedance of that line this new element will also have the same uh, impedance that is the step will be will be having the same impedance and usually since the step is connected in parallel with this uh, transmission line we deal with the admittance, which is the reciprocal of impedance. That is the line admittance seen from the left side of the step into the junction of the line and the step is equal to, is equal and the match is realized. So that's all about today's class. Thank you.